Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching Focus on GRA. The Common External Tariff, commonly known as CET, is applied when importing products from non-CARICOM countries into Ghana. Importers will be required to pay the relevant CET rate of duty once they fall in this criteria. This feature explains how the CET is applied and how the rate of duty can be suspended when purchasing items from non-CARICOM countries. Let's take a look. The CET, or Common External Tariff, is a CARICOM initiative aimed at promoting trade and free movement of goods within member states. The Common External Tariff is applied only to commodities produced outside of CARICOM, as well as goods traded among member states which do not qualify for community treatment. This allows CARICOM member states to benefit from trade within the region without fear of competition from external producers. Director in the Foreign Trade Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Diana De Silva Glasgow, explains further. Essentially what we do, we erect higher tariffs against non-members while we allow trade among ourselves at more preferential rates. When we joined CARICOM, the objective was to promote trade among ourselves. The only way we can do that is to create a regional space that allows goods to be able to free move, move freely rather, among member states, while at the same time preventing the influx of goods that are produced outside of the region. Like several other CARICOM member states, Guyana, through the competent authority, the GRA, applies the CET. Its rates vary depending on the category of the item. Some have special treatment in the tariff rates applied based on their essentiality or importance to consumers. Medicaments, for instance, you won't find extremely high rates on medicaments or agricultural produce or products that are used for cultural goods or um, products that are part of industries where the target market is the export market. Because if you have very large rates on inputs used in those industries, you'll discourage production. It also takes differentiates between competing goods and non-competing goods. So if, for instance, um, within the region, a particular country has the capacity to produce and satisfy 75% of regional demand, then the CET will be set at rates that are essentially higher because you want to protect that regional supplier because of the possibility of competition from other producers. If there's no competition, which means that regional suppliers don't have the capacity to satisfy 75% of regional demand, then the CET will take that into consideration with respect to lower rates. While the objective of the CET is to protect regional suppliers, there are instances where the regime is relaxed. One such instance is the unavailability of the region to supply the product demanded. Paragraph 2 of Article 83 of the Revised Treaty of Shagarama states that where a product is not being produced in the community or where the quantity of the product being produced in the community does not satisfy the demand of the community or where the quality of the product being produced in the community is below the community standards, quoted, the Council for Trade and Economic Development, may decide to authorize the reduction or suspension of the common external tariff in respect of imports of that product. In other words, when we say suspended, what we're saying is that we would like to be able to buy this product from external sources without having to pay the requisite duty that has been established in the CT schedule. For that to happen, because it's a regional process that's based on consensus, you have to apply to the CARICOM Secretariat and seek permission to have your competent authority in the respective territory remove the, the required duty. Under Article 83 of the Revised Treaty of Chagramas, when we say CT, we want the CT suspended, it does not necessarily mean completely removing the duty. It could mean applying a lower rate of duty in some cases, if there's a fear of competition from an external producer, say um, China, for instance, you can make a case to have the duty increased because a cheaper product coming in can affect your ability to compete in your own market. To request a suspension of the CET, the applicant must fill out a CET suspension form. 
The completed form must be submitted to the Department of Foreign Trade of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, stating the quantity, value, and reason for the intended import, as well as the expected duration of the suspension. The form will then be submitted to the CARICOM Secretariat, so that all member states can be made aware and indicate if they have the capacity to supply the said product. Those countries are given seven days to indicate if they have the ability to supply. If they have the ability to supply, which they indicate in writing within seven days, the suspension is not going to be granted because it means that there's regional capacity. And as long as there's regional capacity, you are required to support the region. If within that seven days period, a member state indicates that they cannot supply, then the suspension is likely to be granted. I can tell you one thing traders have been doing that we strongly discourage is that they are purchasing the product from extra regional suppliers and then they are going through the process of applying for a CT suspension. That's a ticklish situation because when you apply, there's no guarantee that it's going to be granted. And when you apply, the required procedure is that you apply for a suspension and then once it is granted, then you go ahead and purchase the product. The CET suspension is valid for a period of one year. However, it is possible for a further extension to be granted.